Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another Swagga video. Happy Monday everybody, hope you had a relaxing weekend behind you and that you're looking forward to the week ahead. First we have our brand new galactic challenge for today. This time we're taken to the planet of Takodana. Now a year after Order 66 was executed, Ahsoka Tano used Takodana as a place to lay low after helping an attempted insurgency during which she revealed her force sensitive abilities. However, because there were many unknowns on Takodana, she decided to continue her journey by traveling to the world of Tabeshka. Now let's hop into today's challenge. As always, I'll cover the modifiers, feats, show you the teams and their mods that I'll be using and explain some mechanics. If you're not interested in that, you can just go ahead, skip through to the battles using YouTube chapter below, as always. But now, Let's get into it. There'll be two battles for you here. So one will be with a full Jedi team because today's challenge is Jedi versus Bounty Hunter. The second battle I'll be using uh, my go-to team whenever there is a feat where you have to defeat multiple enemies in the same turn and that will be uh, Sith Empire with Darth Revan lead and Throne in there. Now Takodana's global modifier, Safe Heaven. Uh, what will happen is uh, whenever the first unit that deals damage uh, will get death mark apply on them and when you take that enemy out again the next unit will get death mark as well so just so you have to a little bit plan your attacks who you want death mark to land on now luckily there with bounty hunters Django lead they'll be getting plus 30 speed so uh, in my testing Django went first and he applied death mark on himself so that's the outcome you want in beginning Humble Strike, so that's the modifier for the Jedi. Essentially what will give you is some stacking critical damage, which is nice. Uh, especially versus Bounty Hunters, because what Bounty Hunters start off with, with 9 stacks of true defense. And each time you hit them, they will lose 1 stack. And for each this stack, they'll be getting uh, a lot of defense. So in the beginning, you know, you'll be hardly doing any damage to them while they have these stacks of uh, true defense. So looking at the feats, obviously have to complete the battle, win after defeating three enemies in the same turn. So that's the one where I'll be using a Darth Revan. And then opportunistic advance, you have to attack out of 20, you have to attack out of turn 20 times. Again with the Jedi, you know, that's not an issue because um, we've got mass assists, we got uh, counter attacks, so that won't be a problem. And winning with a full team of Jedi units shouldn't be an issue against these uh, Pesky Bounty Hunters. This one I decided to go with Bastila lead uh, instead of Jedi Revan and that's because her leadership what will do for you you will start off with uh, bonus protection up to begin with because remember when we do take out Jang beginning then one of our guys might get death mark applied on them so that little bit of extra protection up to begin with will allow your guys to survive longer and as well we will be getting lots of extra tenacity while we do have protection up um, so that you know, hopefully we can resist lots of debuffs so the enemy can't get their contact triggered. Uh, up next, uh, Jolie, um, just having modded there really for health and some speed. So he's a 224. Oh, let me show you Basta from to show you her mod. So I just have her modded for speed really at 287. Now I've decided to go with Kenobi. I have him modded for defense and health, a little bit of speed as well there. But the reason why I decided to go for Kenobi, because he's got a, a mass assist ability, because remember we have to attack 20 times out of turn, and if your Jedi are too powerful, you will finish off these bounty hunters before you get those 20 attacks out of turn completed. Hope a little bit to get that done, and as well, uh, he can get retribution up uh, whenever he uses the negotiator ability uh, when your guys don't have any debuffs. So again, you know, retribution will help there as well to get some counter attacks going. Um, and then Jedi Trevan, having modded for speed, so he's at 325 and he will still not outrun Jung on the enemy side. Uh, and that's on top of the 15% extra turn meter we're getting from Bastila lead, so looks like the enemy Jung is very fast, which is good, so he can go ahead and apply death mark on himself straight away. Uh, and then obviously we do have here direct focus, which again, you know, is a mass attack there uh, for us that we get those attacks out of turn done. And finally, we do need somebody with some firepower to actually deal damage. And I'm using my Yoda here, modded for a little bit of speed, 290, but primary focus for him really is offense. So there you go, very high special offense there on my Yoda. So this is the Jedi team that I'll be using here. So let's just hop into battle now and let's see how this one will go. 
Okay, here we go. So this guy Django is very fast. So actually you do want him to go first so he gets death mark applied on him. But now what I'll actually do, um, I'll just go after Bosk. So I'll just mark him because I don't want to take out Django too fast because then one of my guys potentially could get death mark on them. So I will first deal with Bosk here. Just do an AoE here and a basic. And then we can go ahead, call Yoda to us. Um, now I don't want to call it up to assist because then I might take these guys out too fast. Uh, we do need to get 20 attacks out of turn so instead I'll just call Kenobi here. I'm just trying to stall out so I can get more mass assists out. So there we go, let's go to the second one. Let's spread those buffs now. And let's actually swap with Kenobi now. So he can go ahead give retribution to everybody. Uh, so we can hopefully start counter attacking. Oh, there we go. Force are doing da damage for us. There we go. Oh, oh. Right. Forced to go after Django now, unfortunately. Okay. Just basics now. Basic. Um, yeah, I'll we'll just do basic, I guess. Okay. There we go. Oh, we got now Deathmark on a Revan. Okay. Well, not ideal, though, because uh, when he's not in the leading slot, he can't, be, he can't save himself with a savior. There we go. We got another Master Assist online already, so go ahead and use it on IG here. Let's press some force up to protect Revan. There we go. Again, let's call here Kenobi to assist. We really want to reduce our damage. Want to make sure we get another Master Assist here uh, with Kenobi. Okay, there we go. Basic. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Let's not hate Greedo just yet. Let's see if we can get to another mass assist here with Revan. Ah, Yoda! All that stacking critical damage for modifier there. Really boost damage in Yoda. But there we go. We got 20 attacks out of turn here, uh, which completed obviously um, also the feat of completing the battle and completing with a full team of Jedi units and got the 20, 20 attacks out of turn as well on this one. So there is only one feat to go now, uh, which is uh, defeating three enemies in the same turn. So let's go into that one now. As mentioned before, for this one here, I will be using uh, Sith Empire. I just like to use this team um, because there you have lots of control. So you can really line up a little bit the enemies, get them low in the health, in the health and then you just Unleash Wild Lightning from Basti. There we go. Uh, so let me just show you quickly the mods here. I mean, nothing special here really. My Revan there is 312 speed. Um, my Malak here, so he's at 326. So he will be the fastest, I think, on this team. Then Bastila, she's at 310 speed. And really, you want to time her Wild Lightning in such a way uh, that then she will take at least three units out. So that's the goal here. And I've got HK here as well. I, I have him for his AoE. So he can do some nice big hits. Apply tenacity down on these guys so we can land debuffs on the enemy reliably. And then finally Thrawn. I do have him modded for speed as well. So he's at 310. Alright. Let's hop into battle and let's try and line this up. Alright, so we go Django starting again, which is perfect, so he get death mark applied on himself. Um, no shock unfortunately on him, but anyway, we got fear. Let's get more fear. Um, do you know what, let's just get Django out before he nukes somebody. There we go. So, okay, so nobody's got death mark, so I'm assuming HK should get death mark now. What? He didn't get death mark, but... Is global modifier on Taiko Dana bugged? Um, let's have a look. Will Mal get death mark? No, he didn't. Revan get death mark? No, he didn't. What's going on here? Pasti did not get death mark. What? Okay, let's see. Will Mal get death? Uh, there we go. Finally, death mark. So I'm not sure. It looks like there's some sort of bug here with this uh, death mark, but. The ideal scenario here is anyway that Mala gets death mark, so this is pretty good. Because you know he can ignore the damage from death mark. Okay. So what you want to do now is just kind of get everybody uh, into low health here. Um let's just mm, 
I'm afraid I'll take him out here. Um, so let's go after Greedo now. There we go. So we want to get everybody here in the yellow. Mm. Okay, Bosk is tanky. There we go. We got him in the red now. Who? Okay, let's train IG now. Um, basic. Okay, let's put basic in there. On CAD. Perfect. Uh, we go. Let's get some fear going. Basic into IG. Um, there we go. Big hit. Okay. Um. Okay, I think this should be good to go. Let's swap with Busty now. You have to target the enemy with a shock. Unleash wild lightning here. Boom! There we go. We took three enemies out in the same turn, so we can go ahead, finish off the battle, and get max rewards, collect bread crate. Yet again this time, there we go. We crushed them and defeating three enemies in the same turn. And there you go guys, that's how I completed here um, this challenge today. Getting max rewards yet again. Like that Jedi battle first, I had to have a couple of goals just because in first uh, attempt I took them out too quickly so I didn't get my 20 attacks out of turn unfortunately there. So next time instead of calling Yoda to assist I was calling Kenobi to assist just a little bit reduce my damage output and that gave me enough time to get you know 4-5 mass assists out uh, with Revan and Kenobi which then completed uh, that feat and as you see in this one season part 1 was pretty straightforward but definitely looks like there is some sort of bug there when it comes to that death mark in the second battle. I'm not sure what was happening there. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, have fun, enjoy your life and may the RNG be with you, my friends.